So there's another way that we can score protein alignments rather than trying to calculate just our simple um, bit score and then converting that to an e-value. Um, we can do what's called a pos position-specific weight matrix. And the advantage of that is that you can build a score from essentially any alignment or set of alignments um, just based on the characteristics of that alignment. And then you can take that position-specific weight matrix and scan it through a database of proteins really quickly and identify other proteins that are similar to the alignment that you've built. So, for example, let's look at an alignment of a set of proteins. So here I've got just a short little polypeptide sequence. And I've searched this polypeptide sequence, and I've found five examples in the database, and I'm going to build a position-specific weight matrix based on these five examples. So what I would do is I would take each position. So I would say at position one, we have three Ds and two Es. So at position one, 60% of the time we have a D. And 40% of the time, we have an E. Yeah? At position 2, we have three Ks, one R, and one E. So 60% of the time, we have a K. 20% of the time, we have an R. And 20% of the time, we have an E. At position 3, We've got one, two, three, four S's and one T. So we're going to have S 4.8 and T for 20% of the time. At position four, we always have a W. At position five, we've got one, two, three L's, one I and one V. So we have 0.6L, 0.2I, and 0.2V. At the penultim penultimate position, we have 0.6E and 0.4D. And then at the last position, we have 0.6I, 0.2V and 0.2L. So I've built this position-specific weight matrix dependent on an alignment that I've created. It doesn't depend on a database. doesn't depend on anything else. All I need is these similar sequences. And in fact, I don't need the sequences to be similar over their whole length, right? I can identify a region of the sequences and build a position-specific weight, weight matrix over just a small region. Of course, the longer the region, the better score I'm going to get, the better reliability I'm going to get. But now, if I have a new query sequence, so let's take a query sequence that looks like this, E-R-S-W-V-E-I. At each position, I can calculate what my score would be. So my E will give me 0.4. My R will give me 0.2. My S will give me 0.8. My W gives me a 1. My V gives me a 0.2. My E gives me a 0.6. And my I gives me another 0.6. And so all I need to do is sum up these scores. Gives me a score, in this case, of 3.8. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 3.8 out of 7. So I have a score of 3.8. Is that good? I don't know. 
the way that you can tell if it's good is just by testing a bunch of random sequences and seeing what score you would get just on average, right? Once you do that enough, you actually can then suggest, oh, well, maybe this score is pretty good. Maybe we should keep this alignment. Maybe this score is not so great. Maybe we should do something else with it. So the BLAST suite has a pos position-specific weight matrix algorithm built into it. You can run BLAST, for example, a protein BLAST, generate a series of alignments like this, and use those alignments to then design your own position-specific weight matrices, and use those to query the database to find other proteins that are similar to the one that you've already found. The algorithm to do that is called Cyblast. 